Hi, you may have read in the last day or two uh, some news in the uh, PIC and AVR camps, Microchip and Atmel for you uh, fanboys out there. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, as you may know, uh, Microchip actually tried to buy Atmel like you know three, four years ago or something now, but um, it all fell through. Negotiations didn't work out. The financial crisis happened. Someone, another partner pulled out. Blah blah blah. But the two companies have been talking ever since then, and they've finally um, announced uh, what is it, a cross-platform technology sharing agreement between the two companies, where um, the tools from both companies are going to support the other company's products. What the? But as it turns out, it's not as silly as it sounds, because they're now um, sharing fabs. The two companies are uh, cooperating on various levels, so it makes sense, I guess, for um, the two companies to offer support for the individual products. So what um, Atmel first start uh, cab off the rank, they're um, going to have a new AVR Dragon, uh, almost identical to the current AVR Dragon, um, but uh, it's going to support the microchip parts and vice versa. There will be very shortly, if not already, a new PIC kit 4, which will also have device support for Atmel parts. Now, um, uh, Atmel, have, um, they don't have the new production uh, hardware ready right now, but they've sent me some firmware upgrades for my existing um, AVR Dragon board, as you may, may be familiar with, that allows it to program microchip pick cut parts and be compatible with the MP, the new MP Lab X environment. So, woohoo! Give it a go. Now, this is actually uh, rather clever and possible because of not too dissimilar uh, programming interfaces between the two. If you know the PIC Kit 3 and the ICSP uh, interface, uh, six pin uh, single inline header, of course, but the um, AVR ISP interface is a six pin dual inline header, but uh, nothing you can't fix with a uh, adapter uh, cable, of course. But there are, of course, uh, you know, a protocol and other uh, differences between the two. And of course, um, a lot of the PICs um, require that uh, high voltage uh, programming source, that uh, VP source, which of course the um, AVR Dragon, you can do the high voltage uh, programming part on there, but I believe that the uh, you have to wait for the new version of the AVR Dragon to get that capability. They will have the microchip ICSP port uh, directly on the board, so you can just, you know, the inner pin, you don't need the adapter cable, it just plugs directly in. But I don't have the new hardware, I've only got the new firmware for the existing uh, one, which you're able to download for owners of the old uh, AVR Dragon. So this old version of the board with the new uh, official firmware will only support uh, PICs with the low voltage uh, programming, LVP programming mode. So we're going to actually try that today. I've got the new firmware programmed in. We're going to bring in an old friend, the MicroCalc uh, project. You may remember this from uh, quite a few years ago. I did a video on this, never finished uh, the thing, unfortunately. Uh, world's uh, um, first uh, credit card thin scientific uh, calculator, really awesome little uh, project. Those bob bodge wires, if you remember, um, that was a silicon bug. Did a video on this silicon bug inside the uh, PIC 24 series chip. Real pain in the ass that one was, so um, it swapped the ICSP interface. Real. Anyway, um, this 24F PIC supports LVP mode, so we should be able to program it with this new firmware. Let's give it a try. And as far as I know, uh, Microchip are not going to release firmware for the existing PIC Kit 3 to support the AVR devices, but you will be able to buy the new PIC Kit 4, which will support, and I believe, what they're telling me is the full range of AVR chips. Awesome. Because really, um, it's just, a apart from the high voltage uh, programming stuff, it's really just a protocol uh, difference between the two, because you're just uh, driving logic IO pins basically, so you know that's how they're able to do this. It's actually rather cool. So it's got to get uh, power from the actual uh, board itself, and it does that by um, there's a second uh, VCC connector up here. If you're familiar with the AVR Dragon, you can supply power through to the board, no worries. So I've uh, just got it hooked up to the ISP, we've got the new uh, official uh, firmware in there, and um, let's see if we can uh, get this thing talking. I mean, uh, we're Plugging it, plug it in, and uh, it doesn't auto detect. What I've got here is the um, PIC kit uh, 
three um, programmer software, but it'll work inside MP LabX or whatever um, software you want to use. So it doesn't auto detect. Let's go into tools and it should check communication. It should identify it as a genuine Pick Kit 3. It shouldn't know the difference. Ta da! Hey, Pick Kit 3 connected. ID. No worries. All right, now let's uh, give this thing a go, shall we? We've uh, got it uh, connected. No device. Uh, detected there yet because we haven't chosen our device family but once we choose our device family 24F hopefully it should auto read and let's give it a go yep and bingo look at that pick woohoo we have a winner pick 24 device found there it is 24 FJ 256 GA 106. All right, we've got all uh, FFs at the moment in that chip. So if we read it, let's uh, give it a go. I can't remember what's actually programmed into this thing. Um, you know, I, as far as I know, it, it doesn't work. There's nothing on the LCD. I was in, you know, debug mode or whatever. I was mucking around with it last many years ago. So I don't know, but it should read in something. We should be able to read in some data. So let's give it a go, shall we? Read. There we go. Hey, our lights come on. It's reading. It's reading. Come on. It's taking its fat time about it. Oh, done. Look at that. Beautiful. And now we have, what do we have? Yeah, we've got data. It's no longer FF. It's all 1670, whatever that is. Config done. But there is, yeah, yeah, there is data there. So I don't know what program I had in this thing but it doesn't matter so there you go it reads there you go we have a um we have a an avr dragon now supports pick chips awesome and we'll try that same thing again let's just write the same data back um because i don't have the original program who cares let's just see if it writes it reads no problem at all program memory uh, also the configuration fuses everything so we'll just write that and write in device, program memory. Yeah, it could take a while. Come back when it's done. Well, this thing's got like 256k of flash. It's got a lot of flash in there, so it will take a bit. Woohoo! There we go. Programming successful. Bingo! That works. A treat. I declare that to be a winner. It's not uh, running, of course. Nothing actually uh, runs on uh, this uh, firmware. I powered it up before and uh, before this, and it doesn't run at all. So we have a winner. I like it. So there you have it. That uh, worked an absolute treat. We now have the AVR Dragon programming. Um, uh, well, in this case, a pick R twenty four F part, no problems at all. Reading and programming. That's just awesome, and uh, apparently they're going to uh, now uh, support, a Atmel are going to support all of the microchip parts, and microchip are going to support all of the Atmel parts officially in their various um, uh, development uh, environments and on their programming platforms like the AVR Dragon and the Picket 3. So um, watch out for the new AVR Dragon um, version of this which uh, has the icsp support on it and the new pick kit 4 which is coming out shortly i have been promised one um i don't know it could be in the mail but i'm definitely going to do some more videos on this when it arrives because this is a big historic announcement i like it it means that you can choose either of the company's development tools to support each other and it makes sense uh, companies like this have to um you know team up like this these days in order to survive so it uh i you know it's probably going to piss off a lot of the fanboys they're not going to be happy oh the atmel fanboys oh, okay i don't want my uh, development tools polluted with that microchip crap they're ranting in their mother's basement oh goodness anyway i i like it i give it a thumbs up it works i haven't don't know what happens with the um compiler support at the moment i haven't uh tried that but all the details are on the um Atmel and Microchip websites, and I'll link those in down below, and you can check out the uh, announcements and stuff for yourself, so more videos coming soon. If you want to discuss it, uh, jump on over to the EEV Blog forum, and if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up as always. Catch you next time.